Welcome to the Tintometer Limited's Pool Water Test Training. This presentation will cover the following aspects of pool water testing. Why you should test. Sources of contamination. Preparing to test. Taking the sample. Carrying out the test. The results and actions to take. We at the Tentometer Limited like to consider the four C's. Control of contamination. Comfort of bathers. Cost of chemicals. And care of plant. Even though showering is recommended before swimming, bathers are a source of contamination. Other sources of contamination include Equipment, including inflatables and swimming aids. Pool surrounds, including surfaces and airborne materials. Incoming water. To ensure you achieve accurate results, we recommend the following steps prior to testing. Wash and dry hands. Use a suitable location away from the poolside. Check the equipment is clean, dry and fit for purpose. Ensure you have the correct tablets for each test. And always follow the relevant safety procedures. There are six primary tests to achieve balanced water. Chlorine, pH, total alkalinity, calcium hardness, TDS and temperature. We at the Tintometer Limited recommend the sample is taken from the pool itself rather than a sampling point. Use a suitable non-glass container to collect the sample, such as the Lovey Bond pool water sampler. Take the sample from an appropriate location, preferably midway between the inlet and outlet, and avoid dead corners. Rinse out the container three or four times. Take the final sample from 300 millimeters below the surface. Always ensure you take sufficient sample to carry out all the tests. A variety of equipment is available for accurate water testing. Photometers, comparators, tablet count kits, and meters. In this example we'll be using a Lovey Bond photometer and tablet reagents. Fill a clean dry photometer vial with exactly 10 milliliters of sample and replace the lid. Ensure the meniscus sits on the fill line. Insert the vial correctly into the photometer and press the zero key. Remove the vial and pour the contents into a second clean dry vial, leaving a few drops in the original vial. This part of the procedure is recommended only when performing a free chlorine test due to the possibility of colour bleaching at high levels. Add one DPD number one tablet to the original vial. Crush and observe any pink colour. This indicates chlorine is present. And remember, never handle the tablet. Pour the remaining sample back into the original vial and observe the colour during the step. If the pink colour disappears, as in the example on the left, it is an indication of high chlorine levels within the sample. The sample should be diluted and retested. Place the vial correctly in the photometer. Press the test key. This is your free chlorine result. Record the reading on a log sheet. Remove the vial. To the same sample add a DPD number 3 tablet 
And remember, never handle the tablet. Crush, mix and allow to stand for two minutes. Replace the vial correctly in the photometer and press the test key. This is your total chlorine result. Record the results on a log sheet. Total chlorine minus free chlorine equals combined chlorine. Empty the used vials and clean immediately. Perform tests for other parameters according to the instruction manual. Fill two clean dry comparator cells with exactly 10 milliliters of sample and replace the lids. Ensure the meniscus sits on the line. Insert one cell into the left hand chamber. To the second cell add one phenyl red tablet. Crush and mix. Replace the lid. Insert the cell into the right hand chamber. Select the correct disc and slot into the comparator, ensuring the values are facing towards you. Use a suitable light source, preferably daylight, or a lovey bond lighting unit. Rotate the disc until the two colors in the viewing window match. Record the reading from the result window. Empty and clean the cells immediately. Perform tests for other parameters according to the instruction sheet provided. Take a clean, dry shaker tube. Open the lid and fill to the 50 milliliter mark with water sample. Select the correct tablets and without handling the tablets, put one into the shaker tube. Replace the lid and shake until the tablet dissolves. The solution will turn yellow. Making a note of the number of tablets used, continue to add tablets one at a time without handling until a permanent pink colour is produced and remains on shaking. For this, the result is calculated by multiplying the number of tablets by 40 and then minus 20. For example, 4 tablets gives a result of 140. Record the results on a log sheet. For other parameters, the colour changes and calculations may differ. These meters give direct on-screen readings and can be used either in the pool or by using a suitable sample container. Switch on the meter. Submerge the probe for several seconds. Press the hold function. Remove the meter and check the readings. Record the results on a log sheet. Balanced water, sometimes referred to as the Langalia index, is a formula to determine whether pool water is in balance, is scale forming, or is corrosive. It uses the following five parameters pH, temperature, calcium hardness, total alkalinity, total dissolved solids. The results from these tests are given a factor, which is used in the formula to calculate water balance. The formula can be calculated using a table or easy to use electronic alternatives. A negative result indicates the water is corrosive. A positive result indicates the water is scale form. Remember that testing is only part of the process. Remember the three R's. 
read, record, react. For more information, request a free Paul Walter treatment guide from the Lovey Bond team. Visit our website or call us directly. <laughs>